Okay, so I wanted to take a little bit of time and just do a quick update on some of the work that I've been doing for the uh, horizontal alignment design tool um, for the FreeCAD Trails workbench. And as I started to really deal with this problem, initially I had kind of hoped to be able to use the sketcher to handle alignment design in FreeCAD because really it's a 2D tool, it's ideally suited to it, it handles geometric constraints really well. Um, but the more I tried to make it work, the more I discovered it had a number of inherent uh, uh, problems, largely because it wasn't designed for the purposes that I was intending. And to be perfectly honest, it, it's too powerful. So I, I decided to, to go my own route and create my own, um, basically my own limited sketcher for highway alignment design. And in the process of doing that, I ended up actually creating a user interface toolkit, if you will, um, for... Uh, for FreeCAD that handles uh, scene graph uh, geometry in, uh, in, a, in a series of Python classes. Um, and what I'm doing is I basically created my own custom trackers. And trackers, if you don't know, are these uh, Python objects in FreeCAD that are used to basically provide user feedback when you're using tools to edit geometry. And, and they, all they do is they generate geometry at the scene graph level that doesn't exist as an actual object in FreeCAD. It's not, you know, for example, a, a, a line or an arc as far as Open Cascade is concerned. Open Cascade never sees it. Uh, so what I did was I ended up creating a series of, of these uh, trackers then uh, for, for my purposes. And I wanted to take a moment and just demonstrate how they work. So here I have an example alignment. I've brought it in from a land XML file. This is an alignment that exists out uh, near where I live, and there's actually three alignments here. There's this main line alignment called Sugar Grove Road, and then there's two side road alignments, uh, Penrose Road West and Penrose Road East. And so if I go in here and I, I start one tool, I end up with um, what is basically the rough structure of the horizontal alignment. And these are the what are called the tangents that constrain the curves that make up that alignment. So each line represents a tangent, and then the points are the points of intersection where the tangents obviously intersect. Now in this case these nodes or these points and these wires or lines are are simply individual elements. So if I if I pick one and drag it you see that I can move it wherever I want. And I can do the same thing with the tangents or the or the lines and I can drag them. And if I want to I can hold down control and I can multi-select and I can pick a series of them from wherever I, and then I let go of control and pick and drag and I can move several of them all at once. And while I'm doing that, if I hold down Alt, I can rotate them as well. And then I can continue to translate and rotate as I wish while I'm working on them in the same drag operation. And I let go and we're done. Uh, so I built the basic functionality. I built a base tracker object and then I built on top of that a node tracker and a wire tracker. And all of them inherit the basic functionality for the single and multi-selection, dragging, dropping, uh, rotating, translating, that sort of thing. Uh, and that, that gave me a good start. But what I really wanted to do was to be able to get them to interact with each other when they're linked. So the second part of this little project was to create uh, a way to get these base trackers, these, excuse me, these node trackers and these wire trackers to interact with each other in a linked fashion. So I've managed to do that, and it works surprisingly well. Um, so to give an example, here, here's the same geometry as before, only this time these nodes and these wires that you see are in fact linked together. So that if I click a single node like this and drag it, you see that the wires move along with it. Likewise, I can pick a single wire and drag that, and the nodes and the adjacent wires that they're connected to move with it. And, like, and just as I could before, I can also hold down Alt and I can rotate the whole selection. Um, and the further away my mouse cursor is, the more granular control I gain. Uh, likewise, I can hold down Shift and that gives me uh, a micro-dragging sort of effect, uh, which isn't quite perfect. There's still a few bugs here and there to work out, but it, I let go Shift, I get a little bit faster drag. If you hold down Shift, it moves at one-tenth the rate of normal mouse movement. Um, unlike, and I can also multi-select stuff and 
just as I could before and do things like that. And there's still some bugs in the system to work out, but overall it's coming together quite nicely. And this is providing the basis then for uh, more complex geometry trackers uh, that I'm creating now to mimic these curves and to be able to edit these, to edit the alignment curves that uh, you can barely see, I guess, uh, and to be able to adjust them graphically as well.